Hi everyone, it's Joshua here. I'm just going to show you um, a few different styles of constraints, um, especially a way to do this three-point constraint. So I've got this um, this bracket with a kind of a spring style uh, part in the middle that I've made out of steel. I've got a, a hole here that's going to be loaded and I'm going to constrain this side and we're not sure of the connection here yet. So we'll just go and simulate and you can see I've applied this load to the hole here. Um, I haven't um, split this into two because I just want to see what's happening at this stage. Uh, you can see this loads in three um, um, three axes so it's going to create us some interesting bending moment in this part. All right so and you can see on this side I've, I've applied a, um, a point constraint here so I've gone displacement and point. I've got a three point constraint on this corner. I've got a two point constraint on this corner so I have allowed it to be free in this axis which is the Z on this one. Uh, so they allow some uh, movement in and out like a, um, a simply supported beam. It can roll in and out. And then on this uh, um, on the, this part here, I've put, just quickly put a, um, a vertical constraint only so that it allows some bending in different axes but holds this plate relatively flat. So we should be able to see some curvature in this plate here. Alrighty. So I run that, and um, well, I've already run this. It has some warnings, but it solves. Um, in the display, I can show the deformed, and uh, and what it does for me um, is it then shows me some curvature here, so I can see the behaviour of this part. The bending here is now creating this curvature here. Uh, we've now also got a curvature running this way and you can see how that's bending due to this uh, off-axis load and you can play around with your different um, types of stress and so on. So with this now we've got this highly concentrated point here that majority of the stress is at this point, which is so unrealistic. Um, so we can't use this to just focus on this stress. So we'd probably want to ignore this high stress here. And we're more looking at this in terms of displacement and um, um, just the behavior of the part for design. Uh, if you're having trouble getting this working for these three point type constraints or, or just constraining three axes. Um, you may just want to add more points or another another thing you could do is you could remove this point and replace it for um, an edge. So we could replace that with this edge that runs across here if I can find it. There it is. So we could constrain that edge as if it's leaning on something and so we can just constrain it in the Y, like so, to give us that um, uh, kind of like a roller constraint there. Run that again. You'll see similar behavior coming up. Display this deformation here. We could exaggerate this by a larger percentage so that we can see what's happening there. So we can see how that's behaving. We can see a curvature this way too. Uh, even more simplified, but um, less realistic is we could remove all these. And we could select this plane here and we could say, oh, let's constrain that whole plane and run that. 
Now that would only be realistic if this was really welded all the way around and even in the middle. So it's pretty unrealistic, but it gives you a quick answer. And uh, But here we go. And we now have this high stress here because of that constant, uh, that constraint there. So, so hopefully that helps you uh, with a few different options um, to visualize what's going on. All right, thank you.